Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today I'm excited to share with you my tips on how to organize your closet, which I like to call your personal boutique. So let's get started. Okay friends, tip number one is to think about your closet as a personal boutique. You know how you go into those beautiful boutiques and you can just walk around and you don't even have to buy anything because it's absolutely beautiful? Well, think about your closet in the same way. That is the same feeling that you want to get when you're in that space. You want your clothes and your accessories and your handbags, everything to really cater to you and be as aesthetically beautiful as it's di displayed and organized, but also it is efficient and it functions when you need to get your things to get ready for the day. Friends, also I wanna say before I get into tip number two, all of the tips that I share with you today apply to you no matter what size your closet is. You know, I've had all size closets. It can be a, it's just a tiny little space. It can be a huge walk-in, it doesn't matter. These tips are for you and your boutique. And so tip number two is to always make sure that your closet fits your current lifestyle. A closet is a place that can easily get cluttered because we don't do occasional updates. You know, in one point in your life, you may be out in the workplace wearing suits and dresses, and then your lifestyle now may be one where you're wearing flip-flops all day. And it's important when you transition your life to transition not only your home, but especially your closet, so that you don't have tons of clothes and shoes and things that you just really realistically are not going to wear. Taking up space, causing you frustration, time, and money. So definitely, tip number two, Make sure that your closet fits your current lifestyle. Okay friends, so the next five tips are actually all about creating those stations within your closet. All of those areas that you really need to have a lot of function, it can also be aesthetically pleasing, and really finish off your boutique. Starting with that accessory station. That is that place where you go to get all of your jewelry and your belts and your eyeglasses, sunglasses rather, watches and just scarves, all of those things that really finish off our outfit. Outfit. And so it's important when you think about this station is to really pare it down and declutter it to what you really, really use, you know, and then create a station for that memorabilia jewelry, that jewelry that you're probably not going to wear anymore, but it's important to you. It may be your class ring or a college ring, or um, it may be a, a, a old wedding ring. It may be something, bought, you know, given to you by a relative, those things that you don't typically wear, but you do love it, keep it, and it's important. It's heirlooms for your family. And so you can create that in your boutique, but you know, it doesn't have to be in the forefront. It can be layered. Um, a lot of times I like to stack my jewelry organizers and it can be on the bottom a layer. So what I like to do is I like to have all of my jewelry organized by color because it makes it easy in the morning when I go to get dressed. Aesthetically, it looks beautiful. And when you go into boutiques, I love looking at how they do things to really gauge how to arrange my things because then it will give that feel. So if you struggle with it, go walk into one of your favorite boutiques and just observe how they arrange their things because they pay people a lot of money to come in and do that for them. And so they're really a great resource when you're trying to um, kind of put your closet together. And so with your jewelry and with your watches and things like that, group them by color and it really it makes it easier on the eye also sometimes when you just put your things randomly in order such as your clothes or your jewelry it can look like clutter even if it's organized so that's one tip there okay friends so the next thing that you need in your boutique is you need that sister bag that weekender bag and what i mean by that is that bag is the one that you go to when you need to go on that two three day trip um, when you need to go even on long trips and you need a carry-on that bag that if you going to mom's for the weekend, you can grab it and go. It's that dependable bag that is always in your boutique, ready for you to pack and roll. And that really saves you time and saves you stress, saves you money, you know? And what I love about my Weekender bag, which I got, Austin Fowler sent me my Weekender bag, which I love, is because it's the perfect size. It holds so much, but it's so efficient and it keeps me looking stylish. Their bags are amazing. You guys know I have raved about them for years because I love their work bags. They have 
beautiful selection of work bags that can that it can keep up with me. I am tough on a bag, really tough on a bag, and their bags are so just dependable and durable, but just chic and just it, it makes you feel good. I always when I have my Austin Fowler bag, I just feel like a woman and I feel good. And so the Weekender bag just has you leaving feeling great. I love that not only are their bags beautiful, but when you open the bag, it just has this beautiful, all their bags have this beautiful teal color. Teal or tur turquoise, I always intertwine those colors, but it's just absolutely just beautiful and fun. And I also love that they always have that beautiful gold hardware that on their bags that I love. Along with, they're very thoughtful in all of the compartments. So. For this weekender bag, it's great to just put over your arm and just kind of hit the road, hit the airport, wherever you're going. Or you can slide it over your bigger bag because it has the component on the back that allows you to slide it right over your roll suitcase and you're good to go. Along with, they have this front pocket that I really like because it's great for that travel accessory. And all of these things I'm talking about because these are important to have in that weekender bag because there's no use in having just one tote where you're stuffing it, you're disorganized, and you're providing stress and it's just a mess. This bag is specifically created for that weekend trip, for that getaway, um, that three, four day trip where you just need to get your stuff and go. And I love that they have the pocket on the front. You can throw your passport in there. You can throw your travel wallet in there. And that way when you're in the car, in the airport, you can easily access those things. So all of these little things are important to think about when you're picking that weekender bag. Um, the other thing I like is that they have the padded insert on the inside. So not only can you pack your clothes, but you can um, conveniently pack your business things you need. You can put, or, or you know, just kind of recreational things. You can put a book back here um, where it's padded. You can put your iPad or your laptop and you're ready to go. So it's it's all in that one source, that sister bag, that weekender. And the Austin Fowler bag is great also because it has the gold feet at the bottom. So your bag is always stable. It um, always looks beautiful whether you're sitting in the airport or whether you're it's sitting in the car. And the other thing is at the bottom, you'll notice that it has a second compartment, which is great for your shoes. So you don't have to combine your shoes with your bag. That's always a struggle when you have just that one bag. But this is just, again, keeping you classy, keeping you beautiful. Austin Fowler, they, they are just, they know how to do that. And so I love the, that you can not only think about your shoes, if you don't want to put your shoes down there, you can put like your makeup and your cosmetics and here, um, a flat iron and all of those in the bottom, and then you're ready to go. But when you get that weekender bag, just make sure that it's something that really is efficient. It has all of the components like the Austin Fowler bag that I told you about. I'll definitely put the link to my weekender here. Girl, you don't want to you don't want to not have this in your boutique because it really is just one of those things that over the years you can have and it just always be there ready for you to go. And you can even prepack it somewhat, so you can have all of your essentials. You know, that's another component that I say have in your boutique is your travel essentials. And instead of keeping your travel essentials in another bin in your closet or um, in your bathroom. Keep it in your weekender. That way when you go to pack, that's one less thing that you have to do. You have all of your travel essentials already packed in the weekender is where it's stored. And it's about just throwing those outfits in and going. The other essential to think about in your closet is those handbags. Having those handbags beautifully displayed. I say you don't have to display all of your handbags if the, you know, depends on your setup, but try to display just one, two, three, some of them, because again, it's your boutique. And when you walk in, you want to be inspired. So by seeing some of the things that um, you use to get ready, it really does inspire you to be creative with your wardrobe. And so I like to display my black collection of bags and then I store away more of my kind of other ones that are like in different colors. But by doing that, it reminds me that yes, I can switch out my handbags, I can see my collection. And these organizers or these kind of cases or handbag cases that I got off Amazon, I'll definitely link those below um, also. So again, everything that I talk about today from the Austin Fowler bag to all of the closet accessories um, and my bins and things I'll link it all below um, if you're interested and also uh, for the Austin Fowler bag I do have a discount code so definitely jump on it with my link so that you can get um, a discount on your weekender bag but back to the handbags what I really love about the uh, case is that it keeps the dust off and it serves as a display and it allows me to stack 
my handbag. So that's a tip that if you have a closet, a lot of times our closet, even if it may not be big, it may have a lot of vertical space, you know, and a lot of that space is wasted space. A lot of times they make the ceiling so high and it's really kind of wasted space. So by using these cases, it's great for stacking your handbags and they have um, a, a lid, um, a door rather, on the front that lifts open so it's easy, easily accessible. And remember, if you do have um, tall uh, ceilings in your closet, include in your personal boutique a little cute step stool so that it's easy for you to get around in the space. So friends, another station that I recommend having in your closet, and a lot of people don't think about this, but it's so important when you have that personal boutique and to really just make things efficient in your closet, is to have a little caddy or station for your clothing care. And when I say clothing care, it's just a simple kind of um, area, and I have this box here, right here, easily accessible, that I can grab all of my kind of clothing care items. This is where I'll have my steamer for my clothes, my tape, like my clothing tape if I need to fix my clothes, um, safety pins if I need to pin something. I'm also having a lint brush in there is always um, a great thing to put in your drawer. Even your um, jewelry cleaning wipes, anything when you're getting ready to just kind of care for your clothes, care for you, get you just right. And so having a place for that is very just useful because a lot of times if you put something on and you need a safety pin or you need this, it builds stress because then you have to try to find one. And so if you have that that cat, that that area and that um, station that is your clothing care station, you always know where to go. It keeps life simple. It's easy. And friends, the last station is about those shoes. You know, years ago with my closet, I thought it was a good idea to get shoe boxes for my shoes, which it was not. It looked beautiful because aesthetically you could, you know, it just looked neat. But functionally, it just was difficult because although I had all the shoes labeled, it was down low, so it was hard to see. And I really love my system now because it's just so user friendly. I use clear shoe organizers. Again, everything will be listed below, but it's great because I can just walk in my closet and I see my whole collection of shoes. And what I love about them is it accommodates, I have shoe organizers that accommodate the shoes. So in your boutique, it's all about customization, right? It's all about being customized to you, customized you know, to your clothes, and just really personalized, I should say. And so I have the shoe organizers in different sizes. I have the tall one that is great for my heels, they fit beautifully. I also have a mid-size one that's great for um, those kind of tennis shoes or those kind of wedge heels that are just not as high. And then I have a size for my flats. And so what's great about them is it accommodates the shoe, but they all are able to be stacked together. And the great thing is when I walk in here, I don't have to go on a shoe box searching mission. I have all my shoes organized by color, by the way, because organizing by color is so important in your boutique. It just saves you so much time and it just makes things look seamless also. So it really plays double duty, but it's a great way to organize your shoes for efficiency. And also it's aesthetically pleasing. And friends, the next tip has to do with those clothes, the main part of the boutique, your clothes. And it's so important to just one, take your clothes and arrange them in categories. And most people I work with, you know, they do that. So they go in and they have all their shirts here, their pants here, even if they have one bar, they'll have them in that order. But it's also important to arrange them by color. So all your black shirts together, then behind that, put all your blue shirts and so on. Because when you go to get ready, you can easily see your inventory and you kind of know what you want to put on. But if you want to put on a black top and they're all intermingled with all the other colors, you're having to go on a search mission versus having all of your black blouses right there together. It really helps cut down on the decision making process, which is always important and always saves you from stress and time. And the thing that I would say about organizing your clothes also is to really, once you have them arranged by color and also by um, kind of category, set rules for your boutique. And so inventory rules, let's just say inventory rules. And so what you want to do is you want to allow, you want to give yourself a number. So with your blouses, you say, okay, I'm going to allow my boutique to maintain five of each color blouse. 
and that's all you maintain in your closet. So when you're in there, because everything is arranged by color, you're able to easily see when you're breaking your own rules. And then you can go in and say, okay, I got six, I got to pare one down. Which have, I not, which have I not worn in the last six months or year or whatever the case may be. But it really helps you keep your closet pared down. Now remember, you set the rules. They're your rules, but make sure they really fit your current lifestyle, number one, and that they really will keep the clothes in your boutique that you really wear, that you really love. Um, you want to do this with your pants. You want to do this with dresses. You also want to do this with your shoes. Again, you set the rules. You may say 20. You may be a minimalist. You may say two. Whatever the case may be, by having those rules, you're giving yourself limitations, which, all, which is always great for helping to maintain your closet. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed my tips I've shared with you today on how to organize your closet. Um, definitely, all the products will down, be down below. Um, I hope you will jump on it. Definitely, if the one thing I would say to jump on is getting that Weekender bag so that you have that discount, you can get that discount on that bag. Also, it comes in um, different colors. So if you're not, you don't want a black bag, you can get different colors. So, um, you know, definitely check out their website and I'll link them below. Also, go over and follow them on Instagram. They have an amazing Instagram account. It's really inspiring and they have things from work bags to handbags to all kinds of things. I even got the luggage tag for my um, bag, weekend bag, weekender bag recently. So I'm excited to put my information in there and have that because it's really just, it's just a cute little add on for it. But friends, definitely jump in those closets and have fun doing it, creating your beautiful boutique. If you do, definitely go over to Instagram and or Facebook and tag me. I'm at home with Nikki over there. Be sure to also follow me. And also remember, I am live on Amazon every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go over there and it's uh, we call ourselves the friend girls. You know, we meet up over there live and just have a good time. So I hope to see you there 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday on Amazon and I'll put the link to that below also. Friends, have a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye.